If Jesus isn't the Messiah, there isn't one because that Jewish temple has been destroyed. And you know, of course, about my story of bringing that to a rabbi that was hostile to the Christian faith at a public event. He gave an entire two-hour message on how we know Jesus is not the Messiah. He didn't touch any of the texts that Christians have used for 2,000 years to prove he is. And so I walked right up to him when it was over. I told him I appreciated him spending the time. But I asked him, I said, why haven't you, or why didn't you talk about any of the prophecies from the Torah or the Tanakh or any of the Old Testament books that Christians have used for 2,000 years? How come you didn't touch those verses? He said, I did all of them. I said, you didn't touch any one that I would use. He said, well, like what, young man? And I said, well, like Daniel chapter 9. And I opened Daniel 9. I showed it to him. It says all these things have to happen. End of sin, everlasting righteousness, atonement for iniquity. The Messiah has to be cut off. And then the second Jewish temple is destroyed. I said, Rabbi, 